With the engagement announcement about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the second season of The Crown just days away, our obsession fascination with the royal family has never been higher. So much so that we find ourselves caring far more than we should about things like the exact nail polish that they wear or what they do on a Friday night in Netflix and chill like the rest of us, FYI. And now, thank goodness, we know exactly what the royal family will feast upon come Christmas. Queen Elizabeth's former chef Darren McGrady has, ERM, spilled the beans on the family's traditions over the festive period and to be honest, they have much more in common with your Chrissy barbecue than you might expect. Christmas is spent at Sadrai Ham House in Norfolk, and thanks to their family's German ancestry, the festivities start on Christmas Eve when they open all their presents. Christmas morning, it's a hearty breakfast followed by a visit to church. Then the feasting begins. After church, that's when they have a big lunch that includes a salad with shrimp or lobster, and a roasted turkey, and all of your traditional side dishes like parsnips, carrots, Brussels sprouts and Christmas pudding with brandy butter for dessert, McGrady told Cosmopolitan. They stick with the same meal year after year. Shrimp for Christmas. Practically a treason. After watching the Queen's Christmas speech, it's time for afternoon tea and some Christmas fruit cake. Then just when you think one can't possibly eat anymore, it's dinner time, buffet style. Then a buffet dinner with 15 to 20 different items awaits them. It's always a buffet with the chefs at the table carving, he said. But there's one food item you won't see anywhere on the royal Christmas table. They don't do appetizers on Christmas like many do in the US. Instead, Appetizers and canapes are reserved for New Year's Eve, he says. So there you have it. We're drooling already.